Morning Midnight, among several other books. This book was written in the 30s. It's about a bohemian drifter woman who's alone, on her own, in Paris. Walking in the night with the dark houses over you like monsters. If you have money and friends, houses are just houses with steps in a front door where the door opens and somebody meets you smiling. If you are quite secure and your roots are well struck in, they know. They stand back respectfully, waiting for the poor devil without any friends and without any money. Then they step forward, the waiting houses to frown and crush. No hospitable doors, no lit windows, just frowning darkness. Frowning and leering and sneering the houses, one after another. Tall cubes of darkness, with two lighted eyes at the top to sneer, and they know who to frown at. They know as well as the policeman on the corner. Then don't you worry. Our character is totally like in a holding pattern. What's a holding pattern? Well, a holding pattern is when a character has something really tragic happen to them and they can't move on. And they're basically just stuck. They're stuck there in this like dark cave of wilderness and heartbreak. And they are pretty much totally jaded. They don't believe that anything good is going to happen to them, so they don't believe really in a future. Um, it's sort of an existential crisis. So she meets some men. She meets these Russian guys. She's starting to fancy herself as a female gigolo because as she's reflecting on her life, she's looking back on her life as though like she just uses men. And it hasn't gotten her anywhere. Like She just sees men as a way to get a drink, a warm bed, so, the gigolo comes and, you know, she's really put off by him. She doesn't trust him even though she is physically attracted to him. She thinks all he wants her for is money even though she has none. The story, the novel, has this wistful kind of weaving in and out um, quality to it. The original bohemian drifter woman of intoxication um, and drunkenness. And it's borderline mystical, mystical. and it's, it's sad. I cried the first time I read this book at the end. I totally cried. Uh, certain parts of it. Many women will really be able to relate to 